A tsunami is a natural event that occurs when the displacement of a massive body of water causes a series of waves to become animated enough to form waves that could go high up to hundreds of feet. Watch these mega waves as they are caused by a variation of seismic activities ranging from the piping hot powerful eruption of volcanoes to volatile earthquakes caused by the subduction of tectonic plates especially the earthquakes that occur underneath ocean floors. Look at these waves, which are capable of moving at speeds of up to 500 miles per hour. These fascinating yet terrifying waves of water have washed through several nations on Earth throughout the planet's entire history, and as such, you may actually wonder which one might be the largest that ever swept through a region, and what sort of devastation did it leave in its wake? Could it be the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami that ravaged Japan in such a catastrophic manner that it triggered a nuclear disaster? Or the Sumatra tsunami that took thousands of lives in 14 countries? Let's learn about the largest tsunamis ever recorded, where they occurred, and how it affected the areas it descended upon. Lituya Bay tsunami, 490 feet. Before we push on, it might be worth mentioning that historically, the most devastating tsunamis haven't been the biggest ones. In fact, the Sumatran tsunami that brought about the demise of over 200,000 people only produced tsunami waves that rose to a maximum of 167 feet in height, thereby paling in comparison to the tsunami that occurred in Lituya Bay, Alaska in 1936. Back then, the remote and mostly uninhabited bay located on the Fairweather Fault was a hotbed for tsunamis, as back in the mid-1850s, it experienced tsunami waves of up to 394 feet. On this occasion, however, footage shows that the bay experienced waves of up to 490 feet. Not many people witnessed the terrifying scene, as according to records, only four people witnessed as the waves crashed into the bay from the Krillin Inlet reaching speeds of 22 miles per hour, but remained unharmed. Although the cause of the tsunami is uncertain, it is believed that it was triggered by an underwater landslide. No matter what the cause may have been, like the tsunami in this video, it must have terrified those who witnessed the scene. Icy Bay Tsunami, 633 feet. Another remote bay found in Alaska that witnessed the power that a mega tsunami could unleash on a region is when such a phenomenon struck the remote fjord known as Ice Bay, nearly a century after the 490-foot tsunami that struck Latuya Bay. A popular destination for sea kayakers, the inlet was visited by tsunami waves that measured up to 633 feet in height and would have been a spectacle to watch if anyone witnessed it. However, on 17th October 2015, when the incident occurred, nobody saw what must have been a series of awe-inspiring waves as they swept away at the shores of the Nine Mile Inlet at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. Due to the lack of witnesses, the event almost went undetected, and it wasn't until the seismograms at Columbia University all the way in New York City detected the event, which had a magnitude of 4.9. Following this, experts were able to deduce that the mega tsunami was triggered by landslides similar to that which triggered the mega tsunami in Latuya Bay in the 1930s, with pictures and footage of the event showing that visitors of the scene of the event observing that the landslide only lasted little more than a minute and was made of rocks that came up to about 200 million short tons in weight. Viant Dam Tsunami, 820 feet. Heading over to Europe, this mega tsunami had plenty of witnesses. This tsunami is unique in the sense that rather than being triggered by some seismic event caused by nature, the tragic environmental tragedy was caused by the activities of men. Back in the late 1950s, SAID, the Italian electricity supplying company, sought to construct what was the tallest dam in the world at the time. However, construction was plagued with incidents and warning signs of something worse to come as several times the builder's activities triggered several landslides that even caused the death of one individual in 1959. Nonetheless, we can see that the warning signs were ignored and on the 9th of October 1963, catastrophe finally struck 
when an entire slope off the Mount Tok fell apart and descended on the nearby reservoir, triggering a landslide that set off the mega tsunami that reached heights of 820 feet. Unfortunately, records show that the massive waves washed through the nearby village. Between 1,900 and 2,500 people met their demise in the event of the natural disaster, which would go down as one of the most fatal man-made environmental disasters ever experienced in human history. Mount St. Helens tsunami, 820 feet. Returning to the United States of America, the people of Skamania County in the state of Washington witnessed the cataclysmic events that occurred in 1980. It should be mentioned that the event must have caught them by some surprise as the 8,363-foot stratovolcano had been considered somewhat dormant as it hadn't erupted in over a century, with the records revealing the volcano was last witnessed as being active in either the 1840s or the 1850s. However, this changed when several small earthquakes hit the town. We can see as Mount St. Helens suddenly spawned a series of phreatic blasts and eruptions, which was caused by magma suddenly coming into contact with groundwater on the 27th of March, 1980. You can also see a series of earthquakes that follow. At one point, 10,000 earthquakes were recorded, including one measuring at a magnitude of 5.1, resulting in a massive sector collapse of the north face of the volcano. It is believed that the resulting landslide was the largest ever sub-aerial landslide in history since the records began. Not only was the eruption that followed likened to the explosion of 26 megatons of TNT, the tsunami that followed was recorded as having waves as high as 820 feet. Watch these powerful waves as they sweep through the city. The disaster proved to be a costly one, as it is estimated that about 57 people lost their lives during the event. The deadly lahar becomes a massive tsunami of destruction. Scientists scramble into the air to get an overview of the unfolding disaster. Lituya Bay, 1,720 feet. We return to where we began as we revisit Lituya Bay, which is the site of what has become known as the largest tsunami ever recorded in human history. Occurring barely two decades later, on the 9th of July 1958, this time there were witnesses as a massive earthquake with a moment magnitude of 7.8 to 8.3 hit the fjord along with a maximum perceived intensity of 11. The force of the earthquake was so strong, it was believed to be the strongest in the area in over 50 years, and footage shows that the shock the earthquake emitted was felt all the way in Seattle and Yukon, Canada. This resulted in a landslide measuring 30 million cubic meters along, with 90 million tons plunged into the inlet of the aforementioned bay. The event was so loud, it was heard over 80 kilometers away. Not only that, the said landslide created a mega tsunami that sent waves so large they were measured at 1,720 feet. Unusually enough, unlike the other tsunamis that were recorded in the area, this terrifying event was witnessed by several people nearby fishing on their boats when the tsunami began. Miraculously, Howard G. Ulrich and his son somehow survived the event, as they were only able to hold on for dear life when some of the smaller waves of the tsunami almost swept them away. Unfortunately, five people did meet their demise in the event of what is still the tallest tsunami ever recorded by man. Crazy stuff. One can't help but feel humbled by the planet's ability to generate such power, such tremors and tides that are capable of changing the shape of the landscape, as well as the lives of those who witness them. As awesome as they are, I think it's best if we don't see any more tsunamis for a long, long time. With that, the video has come to an end here. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked what you saw, what's keeping you from hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications? Trust me, you don't want to miss any of our videos. And if you want to check out our previous videos, click right here.